Adam, great to see you. Um, first of all, with everything you've seen and done in your career, does it get any easier losing a game of football, especially when you play so well like last night? I don't think so, no, not um, especially not so soon after. It's, you know, you spend the initial probably 12 to 24 hours thinking about the game and stewing over decisions, what might have been, different outcomes, you know, different decisions, you know, how you could have made better decisions, you know, personally, refereeing decisions. And yeah, it's difficult today because it's kind of summed up our season really last night's result so far. Um, but I think it's just important we, we we just keep working and keep keep kind of doing what we've we've been doing and um, and try not to feel too disheartened. And how are you personally? How are you finding it all three months into this new chapter for you? It's been it has been you know very very refreshing. I've I've, I've enjoyed every moment of, of it. You know the the only thing is probably the, the amount of points we've got so far this season and. You know, I'm sick of saying it that that we've been we've played good football at times, but you know it's been a little bit of a difficult start in terms of the points. But you know, Liverpool had a tough start, Southampton had tough tough moments. So it's it's about how how you respond. You know, do do we feel sorry for ourselves and and keep saying, oh, we could have got this decision or that decision, or, or do we think, no, we, we can improve here, we can improve there we can get better and then maybe we might start picking up points. And I think that that's the way to look at it. Keep doing what we're doing, keep looking to improve, get better, and, and results will start to improve. And people might talk about there being less pressure for you here than at a club like Liverpool, but I'm presuming you don't see it like that. You know, you put the pressure on yourself and, and you're a major player here too. So it doesn't work like that really, does it? Of course not, especially when you're, um, you know, you're around, around the bottom of the table and and you've not got enough points, there's, there's pressure in itself there. So there's, there's similarities with, with, with the pressure. Of course, there's different, maybe, level of intensity of pressure at Liverpool, but th there's, still, there's still pressure here, and we'll, we'll be putting pressure on ourselves to, to perform well and, and get points, because you know, I've seen enough here in my first three months to know that there's a lot, a lot of potential here, and it's, it's um, you know, as soon as we see that um, in in the results we're picking up, the better. You mentioned potential. It's a, it's a young bunch, isn't it? Were you shocked to see you're the, you're the oldest in the first team squad at 32? Yeah, well, it's been creeping up on me um, <laughs> the last few years in terms of, I think, James Milner was the only one older than me at Liverpool. But um, no, I don't, I don't mind having that, uh, being the oldest in the group. I still, I still feel, with, you know, mid-20s in terms of my personality and I th maybe it's just rubbing shoulders with an average age of 23 or whatever. You've just got to be like a 25 year old. So you don't feel like a wise head yet? Are you, are you having that kind of leadership role here? Yeah, of course I've got, I've got experience, but you know, I, st I still do feel young, you know, in the mind. Um, you know, I've, I've got, got two kids and yeah, I'm 32, but I, I don't, I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like a, Mid middle-aged, <laughs> older man. <laughs> I was going to say as well. I mean, 2016 England Player of the Year. That's that's four years ago. Yeah. So there's there's plenty more to come from you, isn't there? You know, I'm, I'm kind of finding. I feel like I'm finding myself again. You know, here at Brighton, in terms of, you know, the the position I've been playing, been playing kind of number ten again. I've I've not really played there there for, you know, three 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 and a half years. So I'm. Um, you know, I'm just kind of retraining myself in that area, doing lots of work on finishing in training because I'm obviously in and around the goal a lot more. So um, it's, you know, it's really, enjoy really enjoyable and it's, it's a bit of a process, but I'm, I'm making positive baby steps every day. You know, I've, I've started three Premier League games in a row now, which is, which is great, which has not happened for God knows how long. But, you know, I'm, I'm still, still conscious that I want to get better and, and I want to improve and I want to contribute more to the team. And, and the only way by doing that is, is by keep working hard and, and looking to improve. And, and what's it been like, you know, being right in the middle of it all and training hard all week, playing a game on a Saturday? That might sound just what footballers do, but that's the essence of it, isn't it, for, for everyone? There's, there's nothing better, you know, there's nothing better than, than training hard all week and, and going out to compete for points at the weekend. And um, we just need a few more points, which will be nice. What's it been like returning to this part of the world, family, friends all here again. Yeah, it's, it, it is, it's great, you know, it's nice that, you know, my wife and kids are around 
our extended families as well. Um, you know, we, we, we built a lot of great relationships um, in our time up north, but, you know, we've, we've come back home to, you know, to where we probably see our long-term future. And, um, you know, I've settled in, into Brighton, into Hove, uh, really well and it's obviously a, a beautiful place to live so I'm, I'm very fortunate that you know over the course of my career I've I've been able to you know see and, and live in, in lovely parts of the world. And you said you're far from middle age but have you had a think about life after football is that something at the back of your mind at least and what you might be doing? I, th I think it's always at, at the back of uh, footballers minds and you know maybe when you're not Tariq Lamptey but when he's, he's got 15 years ahead of him at the top level but he makes you know, anyone feel old doesn't he <laughs> exactly but um you know when when you when you get to your late, latter 20s you, of course you start thinking about what you want to do but um like what i said to you earlier I, I feel like i'm you know finding myself again so it's i think it's important that i'm, I'm completely focused on that at the minute rather than thinking about life after football